Editing audio in Videoscribe helps you perfectly sync your soundtracks with your visuals. In this tutorial, we'll show you how to split, trim, and move audio tracks to bring your project to life. When you add audio, it appears in the left-hand audio panel, divided into two sections, scene audio, tracks specific to a selected scene, in this case, the voiceover track, and project audio, tracks that play across the entire project, in this project, a drift. On the timeline, scene audio appears within the blue scene box with a yellow waveform. Anything outside the blue box is project audio. To edit an audio track selected in the timeline, the right-hand panel will display these options. One, play button. To preview your track. Two, volume slider. Adjust the track's volume. Three, fade out. Create a smooth audio fade out. And finally, split button. Divide the track into separate parts. Now, let's go over how to edit your tracks. To split a track, click the split button. Drag your mouse to the point where you want to divide the track and confirm the split by pressing enter or selecting confirm split. This is helpful if you want to divide the track up or even cut out unwanted sections of your audio, like mistakes or pauses. To trim a track, select it and drag the handle at the beginning or end to adjust its length. Release the mouse to finalize the trim. To move a track, click and hold it in the timeline. Drag it left or right to adjust the start time, or up and down to switch between scene and project audio lanes. Let's move our split track so it plays later on in our project. Remember, you can resize the timeline by dragging its top edge upward, or use the zoom sliders for a closer view of your tracks. And that's it! With these tools, you can easily edit audio to perfectly sync it with your Videoscribe project.